Do you have an experiment on Space Station? Yeah. <laughs> It's no secret that today's schools are based on yesterday's world. The model made sense in an industrial age and likely served many adults well enough. But it's not what today's students need. What we need now is an educational model that brings students into the world, that connects them to the problems and promises of our era, and that encourages creativity and authenticity. At Hathaway Brown, we've spent the better part of the last 15 years developing a new way forward. We call it the Institute for 21st Century Education, and it's made a dramatic difference in the lives of our students, and through them, on the world at large. The Institute resembles a solar system, with the core classes in the middle and a series of centers in orbit around them. Each center is born from a pressing issue, and each offers programming for students to have hands-on, real-world experiences. All of the centers are voluntary, and each allows students to take risks, measure their imaginations, and become active agents in their own lives. What we do is we run different experiments, and we're mainly focusing on fatty acid metabolism in the heart, and we're trying to study that process and determine what sorts of transcriptional factors affect that process. So I don't know what that means at all. How old are you? I'm 16. Well, I think that, you know, all of the centers try to induce people to engage more in creativity. That's the point of all of them. Science research is engaging in your own project. And the writing center is about writing your own material. Just hang out. It's very non-judgmental. Yes. These little fifth graders, they were in there for a workshop, and one of them said, like, it's a place where you can write and no one will judge you. And that's exactly what it is, I think. Oh my gosh, oh, I love the this best. speaker series. That was so cool. Because... I don't know. I don't know if I want to be a writer when I grow up, but it's kind of in my head. I think it's a little bit in all of our heads, so it's cool to see people who've actually made that dream a reality. Uh, I go down about two or three times a week, and I stay for like several hours each day. So how, every, every week? Yeah, every week. Summers? Uh, in the summers, I'm there every day from like 7 to 7 usually. Does it feel overwhelming? You've got this, I mean, you're going to school too, right? Yeah, but... I don't know, I think it's easy because I'm like so passionate about it that it doesn't really feel like work. I have my SREP project with the Center for Sustainability and we're working on biomimicry which is using nature and um, the 3.8 billion years of research that nature has been doing to create new human technology. Yeah, it was definitely me that um, went and went for the center. So it fit with you? It, I think it fits with them very well. It's been, I would say, like the beginning of the rest of my life. Um, in ninth grade, I traveled and abroad. I went to Brazil, Sao Paulo, for three weeks. And when I came back, I just decided that I had to keep traveling for the rest of my life. Um, yesterday when we were in town, I bought um, a handbook of Tibetan phrases. So last night we were going through all these silly words and I was pronouncing them and they were laughing because I had no idea what I was saying. Well, not many people can say that they were at the Taj Mahal and sat there and loitered and it was just so beautiful. Well, I am the team captain of First Team 2399. It's our school's robotics team. Oh, creating robots just amazing because you actually get to start from the design process where it's nothing except like drawings on a whiteboard. I, I have no words to describe it. I absolutely love it. It's I started my freshman year and since then I've helped design and build seven different robots both on season and off season. <laughs> I think no one knew what to expect, um, and that's exactly what we got out of it. Like before, it seemed like professionals are like up here, and like the science we're learning in class is down here. But now that we're actually working, like with things, like with experiments that are at the professional level, it makes everything more accessible, and like it builds confidence in the fact that we can one day like achieve to be something. Can you see yourself there? Yeah. We can <laughs> see ourselves there. When I joined my freshman year, I had no interest in going into anything involving science. And then after I was invited onto this team, I realized this is actually what I want to do. I definitely think that anything is possible. Um, it, that's That sounds horrible when I say that. It sounds so corny. But um, I think that like at, at HB every single day, you're told that you can achieve it if you want to achieve it. They're not saying like it's going to be 
it's going to be handed to you. They're saying if you work hard for it, and you know, if you, if you put in the effort, you will be able to achieve it. I feel like everyone wants to do all of them. Like everyone is so active and um, really outgoing that they want to do all the different centers. But then when they get a feel for like, or a little taste of what each center has to offer, they find their niche. Does it feel overwhelming to have all this stuff? Because um, you're also a varsity athlete. Yeah. No, it didn't. I, I think looking at it, maybe from a uh, different perspective, it, it can look like a lot, but I think it's just time management. And like I said before, I really like this opportunity to be involved because before I thought I didn't have time to, or, or maybe it wasn't for me, but um, definitely this program has allowed me to see that like you can get involved and use what you know and the things that you do to your advantage to help other people. The reason that I did it though, like I wasn't even thinking about my resume, I was just like, you know what, I like science, let me give this a shot, see if it works. And it turned out spectacularly. That's an adverb. <laughs> We're junior teachers at Aspire. <laughs> oh God. Aspire is a summer enrichment program for girls to get the opportunity to come to HB for three summers from under-resourced middle school. You get to be in that like authoritative role, um, which as a high schooler you usually never are. It makes me a lot more um, aware of what I'm doing and my actions and how they reflect who I am as a person. Kind of um, gives you a more of a big picture view to see that you know the things you're learning about or the things that people are telling you about really do matter and um, are very applicable and it makes me feel really lucky to go to a school like this where um, everything is for life and not just for school. I don't know, I mean like you can take classes and you can like study textbooks and that's learning I guess, but it's not the same until you like go out there and you experience it for yourself and that's what I really love about this program because it's not like, it's not like I'm learning biology from a book, I'm just sitting there and studying the book, I'm actually like going out and doing experiments and like seeing the results and seeing how it like all affects each other. I think if I was at a different high school I would still do it but I wouldn't understand because, like what volunteering means or like how you give back to your community and what it does actually for community in general, which is what I learned in the Civic Engagement Center. Um, it would have been like just a habit. Well, it has some, for something that like educates us, it has, I feel like we have a lot of freedom there. Um, because Mr. Parsons is so flexible, I feel like we could really do whatever we want with it. Like the peer writing program, yeah. that kind of sprung up this year. Yeah. We've definitely had a lot of say in it, I feel like. Definitely. And, and like, though, yeah. you don't sign up for it, it's not like a class or anything. For me, it's given me a really good place where I can bring the ideas and feelings that I have about, you know, sustainability or, um, you know, the interests that I have and have, like, really interesting resources and... Um, opportunities so that I can act on what I like to do and have a real way to let it out, I guess.